they'll get the benefit of that, and hopefully we'll see them bounce back up to Fox. Awesome, mate. Good to see you down here, man. Enjoy your day. Back to you, Corey. Thank you, Troy, and great to hear from Chalk there. Get his insight on how things are going. Of course, Chalk's young fella playing in the Mount Allet team, the number two, Mitchell Gimmel. We've seen him in action with uh, Westlake Boys High School in the uh, College Rugby League competition over the last few years. There's Mount Albert now, first use of the ball, work at Ford. As Corey said earlier, you know, these two clubs have had a lot of rivalry over the last few years with um, being in grand finals at the SAS Fox. And uh, here we get to see them go around. Oh, he's managed to hold on to the ball there inside the tackle, just about fumbled. And looking for a quick play of the ball. And again, the uh, energy levels here, Corey, are up once again. A lot of communication on the field by both sides as a little chip's been put through the uh, defence line. Yeah, two very well-coached teams here. Of course, they've been near the top of the Fox Memorial competition for the last four or five years as Sol Solomona carries it forward. Hands off towards the middle of the park and lots of stars on display in the Point Chief team as well. We've got Arden McCarthy, who's played a little bit uh, with the Warriors in the New South Wales Cup competition. He's also represented Samoa. Of course, former Kiwi International Tevita Latu wearing the number one jersey at dummy half. And Siwa Tanuku as well, who uh, has been among the top try scorers in the Auckland Cup competition for the last few years. One of the best players running around. So great to see some stars on display here at Stanmore Bay. Mount Albert not short on star power themselves either. So this promises to be a good one as we wait for the game to sort of open up a little bit over the next few minutes. So Mount Albert now rocking it out towards the middle of the park, just using those quality middle units. Arden McCarthy on the tackle and a show and go from Marcus Fraser at dummy half, hands it off to Joseph Price. Of course we mentioned a move to Mount Albert from being a Mangari East junior. Fraser now with the ball, shows, goes, heads back the other way. Looking for support, not forthcoming at that stage. See Watanuku involved in the tackle. And that ball's come off legs. It's spilling around everywhere and eventually picked up by the number 11. It looks like it might be Taylor Daniels for Point Chev. Wait for confirmation on that one. We don't have a team sheet for the Point Chev team, unfortunately. The uh, coaching staff running a little bit late with what they're doing, so we'll do our best to, uh, to give you the names of the players. But in the meantime, Point Chev now working at Ford through the engine room, the big front rower into dummy half now, spreading it out towards the left. It looks like it might be Marlo Solomona with a nice carry out to the left. And it's a big break from Sola Solomona, who finished last year, I believe, as the Fox Memorial's top try scorer. And he is going to open the scoring here <coughs> with a nice try following a break out on the left. So Pointchev on the board early after a first up loss on the backfield. And they make the positive start against old rivals Mount Albert. And back underway here between Point Chev and Mount Albert. And the short kickoff fielded by Puppy Miller. Back towards the centre of the park. Nice carry from the Mount Albert second rower, Douglas Rewi, who I believe we saw playing for Papakura last year. My memory serves me correctly. So, we'll, with like some of the viewers, Corey, I've just stepped away for a few minutes. What have we missed? Yeah, well, Point Chev have uh, drawn first blood. A nice break from Sola Solomona out on the left. Just guessed as uh, markers. And, of course, anyone who's watched the Fox Memorial coverage over the last few years will know that Sola is a noted try scorer. Another one that's played at high levels as Point Chev now break out towards the right. And it's a nice... 
break out on the wing and he hands it back inside to Siwa Otonuku and Siwa Otonuku doubles the advantage four point Chev 8 nil to Ortex and as Preston Ricky was some nice play I believe a Mount Albert a grammar graduate we saw him in action for the college rugby league competition a few years ago and some nice play from Ricky out wide and finds Otonuku in support so Troy, I think the uh, from memory, and as the conversion hits the upright, so the score will remain 8-0. From memory, Ortex lost their first game on the backfield uh, over the back Correct, there. So yep. uh, this is a, a good turnaround from them after going down to, I think it was Hibiscus Coast in their opener. So some nice play from Ortex, perhaps uh, coming up against Mount Albert, bringing out the best in the boys so far. Mount Albert looking a little shell-shocked. And... Maybe lucky to get away with that one. Looked like it might have been a forward pass or a knock-on. But Mount Albert will work it off their line anyway. So Hibiscus Coast holding their own. They're a Shaman Cup team and um, they're in a pool that includes the Point Chevalier Ortex team along with the Mount Albert Lions and of course the Otahu Leopards. So they're boxing above their weight, I would have said, in that um, first game against the Ortex side. And, um, you know, they've uh, certainly managed to get a, uh, a scalp there, I would suggest as um, Point Chevalier are trying to um, maintain their uh, pressure on Mount Albert. That's a loose ball there and it is ruled a strip. I think Arlen McCarthy, the man in on the tackle. So Mount Albert now looking to finish the half on a high. They start the set from about 45 metres off their own line. And Ricochet. The big, the big juggle it spilled out in the end. And it was the number eight, Tony Ulupal, who uh, coughed the ball up there. And Man Albert just not looking the team that played in the first game against uh, Odahu. They went down on a thriller in that one, losing in golden try, 16 points to 12 but really struggling to find their feet in this game so far as Arden McCarthy carries forward. And that is a clean drop from Arden. He seemed to think there may have been a strip in there, but the referee not forthcoming with that one. So Man Albert will start this set on halfway. And they work it out. I think Joseph Price now with the carry. Fends off the first one. Shows. Gets smashed for his troubles. Jordan Tua in support. Into dummy half now. And we're going to have a little conference with the referees here. And we're going to have a penalty at the end of that after uh, a little check. And Joseph Price now will carry forward. Went straight back into the same bloke and um, said, I'll have <laughs> some more of that, please. He has not learnt his lesson, young Joseph. He's straight back in for a little bit more punishment. And Fraser now with a nice cutout pass. Good offload by well Ulu Pau. under pressure. But Point Chef scrambling well in defence. Sola Solomona with a nice tackle. The Olupau now. Oh, <laughs> another huge hit. Some big defensive plays coming on from Point Chef here. As Man Albert now head out towards the left, and as Marcus Fraser dribbles the kick through, someone was run off the ball there. It was Joseph Price was run off the ball, but uh, not too many complaints from Joseph. I think realising that one was in the uh, in the act of the tackle, and Point Chev survived to work it back out. Crowd certainly filled out here. Just looking at the um, people on that uh, number two field, that's a uh, pretty well compact line over there now. So, few more few more fans coming down for the day. So as the siren goes in the background, that will do us for the first half. So Point Chevalier, Ortex will take an 8-0 lead into the break against their old the, yeah. rivals, the Mount Albert Lions. And we'll see you again in a few minutes for the start of the second half.